Before we get started with classification of equilibria, it's really time to draw some pictures. I mean, we've been doing so much with the algebraic perspective on solving linear systems, all that linear algebra, it's all great stuff, but it sure would be nice to draw some pictures and get a little more qualitative. That is what we're going to do now. Now, continuous time systems in 2D are perfect. They are so well suited to illustration, animation. Let's talk a little bit first how to visualize those. In 2D continuous time, there are basically two approaches for visualizing dynamics. Now, a dynamical system is telling you how X is changing over time and how Y is changing over time. That infinitesimal rate of change can be encoded as a vector, and what that gives you is a vector field, a two-dimensional vector field. Now, you've probably seen these before, oh, I don't know, back in multivariable calculus class, so they're not entirely unfamiliar. It's not that hard to draw pictures of vector fields given a dynamical system, and we're going to be doing that from time to time in order to visualize what is going on, what the big picture is. But that's not the only approach. We can also look at the solutions to the dynamical system as functions of time, as giving us parametrized curves in 2D. This is an approach that is called building the, the flow or plotting the flow lines. And what that does is that fills up your entire domain with these solutions, with these flow lines. Now that is very nice, especially when animated, because you can see how things are moving. You can see how fast things are going. That dynamic picture is really well suited to dynamical systems. Now the ability to work with both of these representations, to go back and forth, between being able to visualize something as a vector field on one hand and then switching to a flow or a flow line description on the other, that's pretty useful. From time to time, we'll do that. For now, don't worry too much about how we compute such a thing or how you would produce such a thing. For the moment, sit back and as we approach qualitative classification of dynamics, of equilibria, enjoy visualizing these.